Uh, Malik, the, you've you guys have kind of been in these situations, you know, a few times throughout the year. I know you've personally been kind of frustrated seeing some of these games like slip away from you. Was was your your feeling in overtime just just kind of not tonight? Um, yeah, don't lose. Um, however that was, um, however I could make that happen um, was definitely not lose. And um, I feel like we battled way more um, in overtime than we did the other quarters um, while we were up. Um, I think we relaxed a little bit to let them come back in the game. But we finished strong in overtime, so um, we got some good stuff to look at. Malik, what do you make of the defense that you saw from Keon Ellis, especially in the four, in, in the overtime session? You have five blocks. Yeah, man, I'm not, I, like I say before, every time I talk, man, I, I don't be surprised with Keon um, because I know he – that's what he does. Um, I was watching him for a little bit um, when he was at Alabama. Um, it's crazy because he's a steal the ball um, from all the Kentucky players, man, when I used to watch. So um, I knew he was good at defense. Um I just didn't know how it was going to translate like, like this. But, yeah, man, Keon's great, uh, a great professional too. Malik, uh, you scored the first eight points in that uh, overtime. Uh, I think you scored ten points after uh, DeMondas made a basket. Uh, and then you got a key rebound too. Uh, what, do your team feel that energy, you know, coming from you? Because every time you came down the court, they made sure that you got the ball. Um, I feel like they just know uh, I'm going to try to make the right play. Um, whether it gets through or not, um, they know I'm going to try to make the right play and I'm doing things for the team. So I think that's why they look for me um, and they got confidence in me to make the right play. So um, I'm thankful they do that. Um, but, yeah, I just try to make the right decisions. And, uh, I was just scoring tonight. So, Malik, along those lines, did you, did you come into the extra period thinking that you had to be even better than you were through those the first three? Uh, yeah, definitely, man. Um, I feel like I was relaxing a little bit in the fourth quarter. Uh, I was just able to turn that around, uh, turn that around in, in overtime, and we got the win. Malik, to see Sabonis collect his his 50th straight double double, De'Aaron Fox also had a big game. But for both of them to also kind of turn it over to you and, and try and set you up as best as possible during that fourth quarter in overtime, I guess what does that mean? The synergy between your two stars having big nights, but also involving you. Um, just make the defense be honest, man. They can't they can't just focus on two people no more. Um. Especially when I had a ball and I, I got it going, um, they gotta they gotta focus on three, and you can't send two three people at the ball. Then we're gonna be um, playing two on two, and I think um, every time we play two on two, uh, our, our team gonna win um, and come on top most of the time. So, yeah, man, they just trusted me, like I said before, um, to make the right play, and I've been doing that. Uh, Malik, obviously, you and Fox both talented scorers. Um, in games like that, where Obviously, you're both capable of finishing the game and making clutch shots. How do you kind of like balance that out? Is it just whoever's hot at the time, or are you just kind of giving what the defense gives you? What's what's kind of in your in your head in moments like that? Um, we've been playing with each other for a little while, man. So we know um, where the which one is going, um, whether um, where to give him the ball, um, where he like his shots, where I like my shots is. So that's just us being friends, man, and playing basketball for a little while together. Malik, it's, it's pretty obvious we see when you're emotional on the court, you know, whether good or bad. It, how much does that help fuel kind of the player that you are? Uh, a lot, man, a lot for sure. Uh, I feed off negative energy. I feed off positive energy. I feed off just energy, man. Um, I think that's what makes me come alive, um, especially in big moments like this. And, and then just, you know, you guys finish this long home stand, to, uh, three and three going, or excuse me, four, four and two. two get it right, man. I've had numbers, buddy. <laughs> uh, just what's that mean for this group as you guys kind of go out on the road here? Yeah, man, uh, it's great um, to, to finish this last little stretch of games um, on top, especially going on the road, man. It's hard to win on the road. We know that. Um, so, yeah, man, we just got to – it just gives us a little bit more confidence going on the road. Um, yeah, so we just got to keep this energy up.